I see her rolling up, Uber black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh god she's such a tease, bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got it Welcome back to my channel ZMotoGP. Here I will tell you about MotoGP and other races, which are actually trusted and up to date. If you want to receive information back from us, please subscribe, like, share and ring the bell. Thanks a lot. Cryptodata RNF Aprilia rider Miguel Oliveira is often a victim in accidents that occur in MotoGP 2023. However, he admitted that he did not agree with the assumption of many people who considered that the new format implemented was the cause of many accidents this season. Yes, the first half of the 2023 MotoGP season has indeed claimed many victims. In the eight series that have been held, there have been 116 accidents experienced by the main class riders with 13 of the 22 regular riders having suffered injuries. One of them is Oliveira, who has just moved to the Aprilia satellite team from KTM Red Bull. In the opening round of the 2023 Portuguese MotoGP series, he collided with Marc Marquez which caused an injury to the external rotator of his right leg. Then, he also suffered a shoulder dislocation and fracture of the upper arm and anterior cruciate ligament after being hit by Fabio Cordero in the race at the 2023 Spanish GP. Then, the Portuguese rider also had a few other incidents. After the crash in Italy, he crashed again during a practice session in Germany which delayed his shoulder injury recovery process. Finally, in the Netherlands, he crashed again due to a brake failure on his bike. The number of accidents that have befallen MotoGP riders, including Oliveira, this season has led many to think that it is due to the new MotoGP format where riders fight for a place in qualifying two in the first practice session and a sprint on Saturday. However, Oliveira does not agree with this speculation even though he is often a victim. I analyzed each of my crashes, including the two times when I crashed myself. I didn't see anything caused by the new format. I don't think you can call sprint races the cause of the accidents that have happened this season, said Oliveira. In fact, the 28-year-old racer emphasized in more detail. He considered that these accidents often occurred in the main race on Sunday. Most accidents occur during Sunday races, main races. The only thing is that the sprint gives every rider an idea of what their strategy will be on Sunday, explained the former KTM rider. This can cause too much excitement and unrest in the first half. But that was not the cause of the crash. I like the new system, he added. Oliveira believes that the increasingly competitive performance of MotoGP bikes is the cause. The reason is, it makes the riders very close to each other in the early sessions of the race so that the potential for accidents becomes higher. We have devices that bring our bikes to the same level. We are all very fast, so at the start you can hardly make a difference. Everyone is very close to each other, so the few riders who fell just had bad luck, explained Oliveira. Nevertheless, Oliveira wants this new format to be evaluated after the season ends so that existing assumptions can be proven or contradicted. Even so, he will accept if there is another format change in MotoGP 2024 because he is just a racer who must be able to adapt to any system implemented in this competition. But I think we need the whole season to get an idea of how two races on the weekend affect it. Of course it will be more relaxing not having to fight for a Q2 place right in the first practice session, Oliveira said. But it's the same for everyone, so there's no need to change the format for 2024. But I'm just part of the system and I have to adapt, he concluded. 